Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to understanding Prometheus push gateway with example. Okay. So here we are going to learn uh, Prometheus put uh, push gateway and essential for tool for managing short life job metrics in Prometheus monitoring setup, right? So let's start to Prometheus push gateway with examples so first of all here you can see understanding prometheus push gateway with examples okay so here first of all what is prometheus so you know what is prometheus prometheus is an open source monitoring and alerting toolkit designed for reliability and scalability in modem and dynamic environments and developed by the cloud native computing foundation and Prometheus accept at uh, collecting and storing time series data, allowing users to gain valuable insights into the performance and health of their application and infrastructure. Then next is here, what is Prometheus Push Gateway, right? So Prometheus Push Gateway serves as a bright uh, bridge for job that cannot be scrapped directly by Prometheus due to their their nature and uh, it allows these jobs to push their metric to a matrix cache and enabling prometheus to collect them then for example consider a batch job that run periodically to process data and generates metrics since the job's life cycle is short-lived and it may not have a long-lived endpoint for prometheus to scrap so in such a case the job can push it matrix to push gateway and which stores them temporarily prometheus then scrap the matrix from push gateway and ensuring they are collected and analyzed despite the job transit nature so that's the prometheus push gateway and here as you can see the architecture of prometheus push gateway so first of all as you can see here Prometheus server. So in server, first of all, matrix, then TSD, then HTTP server, right? That's the node local storage. Then here, it scrap matrix to this push gateway and it's go to the batch workload, right? So that's the simple architecture of Prometheus push gateway. So here, as you can see, first of all, push gateway server. So the push gateway server is a standalone component that expose an HTTP endpoint. And this endpoint is where jobs or service can push their matrix data. Then matrix cache, then HTTP inst uh, interface, then temporary storage, expiry mechanism, Prometheus scrapping, labeling, and high availability. Okay. So then next is use case, right? The Prometheus push gateway benefits and challenges. So Prometheus push gateway benefits supports for short life job, then dynamic environment capability, uh, compatibility, then uh, centralized matrix collection, then simple monitoring setup. And the challenges is increased uh, complexity, risk of stale data, potential single point of failure, then security consideration. Okay. Then here you can see some prerequisites. So here we need an instance, then sudo uh, users with sudo access. Then we need to install Prometheus and node exporter on Ubuntu server and enable port number 9090, 9111 and 9091. So we need to this port open in our security group, right? So as you can see here, I have already installed my launch by instance and here I have already install prometheus as well as prometheus as well as node exporter here if i run the pseudo system cts status of prometheus so as you can see it's running that means i successfully installed my prometheus so as you can see this is my prometheus ui right if i go to the status and go to the target so as you can see we have two jobs here prometheus as well as node exporter and the state is up okay now the next step is here, we need to install Prometheus push gateway. So how to install Prometheus push gateway? So this is the official repository, sorry, official page. As you can see the push gateway. So you can download this tar.gz file from here with wget command. So as you can see here, I'm going to install this with wget command.
CS is non ifarn the ls commands as you can see. Now here I'm going to extract this file. Okay. After that here next step is we need to start the push gateway with this command. Okay. So we need to we need to start this push gateway using this dot slash push gateway command. So first of all we need to insert this push gateway. Now if I run the ls command, so as you can see the push gateway folder. So now I'm going to start my push gateway. So as you can see, it's running, right? So as you can see in third step, access the push gateway on the browser. So let's access this push gateway on browser. So how to access? So simply go to your instance, copy the instance IP and hit on browser port number and to access the push gateway the port number is 9091 so as you can see the dashboard of push gateway ui as you can see push gateway matrix if i click on matrix the status and help if i go to the status so as you can see the status of our push gateway runtime information started then build information branch build date build user go version revision version and startup flags right and so on you can see the address or oh, sorry port number 9091 right so that's the push gateway right you can see here the dashboard right so here the default option given by push gateway should work well in most cases so here they are with the explanation of each of them so first of all here as you can see first of all here web listen address right that 9091 ip so it's optional and port pair on which to listen for request then second is when telemetry path matrix so path under which the matrix both user and send internal of the push gate will be exposed then web external url then web route prefix then web enable lifecycle web enable admin and so on right so that's the default option given by push gateway. So that's the option default. As you can see, some are blanks, right? It's false, false, and the time and so on. So that's the push gateway, right? So in this session, we have learned how to understand Prometheus push gateway with example, right? So thank you for watching and I hope you understand.